Formulating your final research questions revolves into three rhetorical moves. In this video, I will be giving a step-by-step -step elaboration of research questions formulation. For example, your chosen topic is children's phonology. You need to specify it and let us say you trim it down to phonological difficulties of children. Next is to establish the identity of the research by finding different published research papers. Let us say your first reference discusses that brain development has something to do with language acquisition. The brain weight coupled with the continuing maturity of its components also dictates the capacity of humans in acquiring complex language patterns. Second reference states that as child ages, there is only one expectation in line with language production. The continuous delineation of error patterns, also known as phonological processes. Then your other reference asserted that phonemic awareness is a critical stage in child's language development, and that considerable number of studies propose that vowel production is rationally precise by the age of three. Reference 5 states that subjective bilingualism is particularly evident to immigrating children whose, number one, parents do not have a good grasp of their new language, had little information, has diminutive familiarity to a country's school system, failed to read with their children because of work, and last, parents who are still adjusting to a new system similar to their children. Your last set of reference argued that a major research finding is that children in bilingual programs outperform their monolingual counterparts in metalinguistic awareness, formation, concept, and analogical reasoning ability. Furthermore, children in bilingual programs also outperform their peers in standardized achievement tests in either language. Synthesizing these references leads you to stating that given these scenarios, it is posited that children under the paradigm of additive bilingualism have a greater advantage in their phonological development than monolingual children. Once you have the synthesis, you can now analyze for the gap, searching for what has not been done and has not been considered yet by the cited published researches. For example, it is significant to validate the similarities and differences between the phonological difficulties of bilingual children and monolingual children. However, there is a scarcity of studies that focus on the phonological difficulties of Filipino bilingual children. Now that you have established the research gap, it's time to present specific variables to be considered that will lead to finalizing your research questions. These are factors that has quantity or quality that varies and could affect the result and findings. For example, demographics like age, gender, educational attainment, marital status, occupation, socioeconomic status. Psychographic, psychological attributes like lifestyle, personality, interest, values, characteristics, and others. And geographics, which is the geographical segmentation. So coming from the research gap, you can now write your finalized research questions. The first variable is the research topic itself, phonological difficulties. Then specify the other variables, such as encountered by high SES. Filipino English bilingual, children, and not all about children, but children ages 3 to 5. In the last research question, you can compare and contrast using age and gender variations. Now you have formulated a complete research question. Check the next videos on how to write the methodology. To support this channel, hit like, share, and subscribe. Kambat